And, and how did you decide which of these components was actually going to work? Just by their sizes, really. I, I, I tend to over-engineer things, so they're going to be strong enough. You've got to think of the stress when they hit a pothole at 100 mile an hour, with this over half a ton of force, it gets amplified by 10 times. So you've got, you've got to re-engineer, I wish you shear a bracket off, and then we get into trouble at, six, at 183 miles an hour in Elmington. It's not ideal, is it? And what happened, where, where did you first take it for a ride, actually fire it on well, take it for a took, ride? I took it down to SVA testing in Southampton in, in August 2000, 2009, got, got my certificate on the end of August, 31st of August it was, it took me a month to pluck up courage to ride it, and then I eventually drove out of my drive, onto the A4, down to Reading, and I had to find the biggest roundabout I could find to turn around, <laughs> which is a seal roundabout, it's quite a large roundabout, there's no traffic lights. So I, yeah. said, I went round and round this roundabout for several times where I had enough courage to come off the roundabout back down the A4. <laughs> then I had to turn back into where I live, which is quite tight. I did that trip every day for a week before I ventured further. So it's, it's a kind of, in a way, it's a kind of, the first thing he did when he was, uh, or the second thing, sorry, yeah, after that. this minute, I've done 10,000 miles of it on the road. So you've obviously enjoyed riding it. Yeah, right. People say to me, I bet that doesn't go around corners. I ride it 10,000 miles, there's lots of corners in Berkshire and there's Cotswolds. It goes, I've been up Coombe Gibbet, which is this really steep highest point in southern England. Little tiny narrow road with a hairpin at the top on the bike for bike. Tickets to the Isle of Man TT, been around the circuit, including a Ramsey hairpin. I rode it over to Henry's house, which is in the Cotswolds, down his gravel drive. Yeah, my gravel's thick, baby. So well, does, yeah, we, we know you live in a, a big posh place. It would oh, have a big, have a big gravel drive. Honestly, please, don't believe him, OK? We've got a few acres only because it helps us when we're filming. We can go off-roading. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, you can you, do enduro at my place if you really want to. And you, yeah? and you can do it all in a contained area. Yeah, exactly. And we have studios. We have a shed for ITV, shed for Channel 4, uh, and which is now uh, another channel which we've got. Channel 4, and uh, we have a shed for Discovery as well. So that really helps us because we can move around, you know what I mean? And there's a heck of a lot of shows coming up. So.